What's up? Welcome back. Today we're checking out the All Things Trashy Reddit. Turns out searching Reddit is a really good way to make content. I don't know why, but I'm not here to question the algorithm. I'm here to beat the algorithm. It's okay. Let's start with the first thing. This was on my this was on my apartment lobby door. The writer definitely had a point. Whomever let their dog crap in here, uh what? They left it here for me to step in. You are trash. You will always be trash. You will be f fined. I see fined. I think it says found. I see fined. Uh, okay, you will be found and you should be asked to leave. F you. You don't deserve your animal. Well, I think that was really well spoken. Um, I uh, wish there's more context, but apparently people still let their dogs crap wherever they want, even in apartment buildings. I remember when um i was at my auntie's old house and there was this neighbor who let her chihuahua crap all over the freaking street but the thing is there was basically no sidewalk it was straight out from the house to the parking lot so there would be chihuahua crap in the parking lot and if you know anything about chihuahuas you know that they don't have a normal poop they have this thing called chihuahua squirts so imagine just having runny brown crap floating down the sidewalk in the wind like who would do that I guess people are still kind of idiotic when it comes to keeping a pet and holding responsibility. Um, girls are pulsed by a man having an old fan. Um, and you're on a bus. I'm on a bus and this guy is so fine, but he has an iPhone 6. Yet you ride the bus. Touche. Um, trashy ad. Okay, everybody. Would you rather have three ugly chicks? One fat chick? Or go to Red Rose Gentleman's Club and have 33 super hot chicks? Um, I don't know about you, but I think I'm going to focus on the latter. I, 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 I don't know, but it is insulting, especially whoever these people are. I'm pretty sure it's Photoshop, but if it's not, well, that's a shame. In the, in light of the other posts, I thought I'd share my find from my apartment elevator. We all know who they're talking about. Uh, to the, to the... I can't read that. I don't know if I can read that. To the blank that lets his large dog crap on the sidewalk and around the building without picking it up, you're a pig. Start picking it up. It's a dog owner requirement. If you don't, I'll start th <laughs> I'll start throwing the S all over your car. So if you know who it is, why don't you just report him rather than leaving these notes all over the place? I mean, come on. He's obviously trying to get a reaction at this point. I mean... If a dog's crapping in your yard, I think this is a follow-up to um, the last post. But if you if someone's dog's went to crap on your yard, then report them, especially if you know who it is. I mean, are you just gonna rub some random person's car with dog crap? <laughs> oh, I remember this. Um, a bunch of people were like robbing McDonald's Happy Meals to get these Pokemon cards because um, I don't know why I'm not into Pokemon. In fact, I've never played Pokemon for personal reasons. Okay, Pokemon Assault. Police are searching for these two men. <laughs> Who, who they say bought 10 Happy Meals at a local McDonald's to collect the Pokemon cards, toys inside, and then let the, fe the food strewn all over the floor when employees confronted them. One pulled a shotgun. Dang, a shotgun for a Pokemon card? People are really robbing McDonald's for Pokemon cards? I mean, I thought I knew that was probably real news, but I didn't think people would be willing to like pull out a full shotgun to get that rainbow Pokemon card that they've been searching for their entire lives. And if anyone has actually found one of these super rare Pokemon cards, I want to see it. Because personally, if I could find a $600 cards in a value brand meal of whatever McDonald's serves these days, um, I'm in. I'm all for taking uh, that $4 out of my pocket to buy a Happy Meal if I can get a $600 card out of it. Another Karen spot in the wild. Oh, she's not wearing a mask. Oh, now she is. But she keeps taking it off the top. That's as stupid as, like, it's as dumb as that one person who was caught on camera um, taking his mask off to cough. You thought I was going to take my mask off. You're not seeing my face today. But, yeah, what is with people not? I mean, at this point, it's just, it's just normal. People don't like wearing the mask. I get it. But there's two things that came out of this COVID thing for me. One, I don't have to go to school anymore. Two, I get to wear this all day for no reason at all, just for the fact that I like wearing masks because I like watching anime and I watch too much anime. Okay, next. Your house when you live with your roommates. Uh, I don't know because I have a family of five, so I'm pretty sure 
And I've had to share a room for the first, like, what, 12 years of my life? So yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what it's like to have a terrible roommate. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. Oh my gosh. Why is, what is that on the stove? <laughs> and my mom think about to move to the college dorms. Parked next to someone whose car was keyed. <laughs> really? First things first. You either are so stupid. How in the world are you going to key someone's car with an insult, then misspell the insult, making you look like an idiot in the process? How can you look like an idiot while insulting somebody? How? How do you manage to do that? Bix. That's what that's what that says. Bix. Okay. At an anti-lockdown protest in Ireland yesterday. By the way, RTE is our national broadcast. I don't know what the heck RTE is. I was sent, but I was sent this, but it looks like it originated on the Reddit sub. GPO GPO Museum. RT souls <laughs> sold their souls. I frankly don't know what this is. I frankly don't even know what to think. All I know is that that person has a similar haircut to Jack Septicai, which makes me wonder. Built a $156,000, I mean, thousand analysis and AI. These indicators show 71% accuracy for the weekly trend. I just read an ad not knowing it was an ad. I feel really dumb now. God bless the First Amendment. What's happening? Eat my... <laughs> eat my blank jam, stupid... Jeez. I mean, it, it's true. You can say whatever you want. But, whatever. With God, all things are possible. If you're going to ride in my blank, at least pull my hair. I'm not anyone to judge anyone's kinks. I know that there's some weird people out there. Personally, there's one thing that I'll never understand is that how someone can be interested in someone's feet. That's what one thing I wonder about. I mean, some people are into the torture kind of crap, but how can you be interested in someone's feet? That's weird. And I'm never gonna find out because I'll never be able to bring my brain capacity that low to understand. But, okay, next one, posing on someone's gravestone, yikes. Obviously a TikToker. This mattress at a hotel I was forced to stay in. Crumbs, Kleenex, and bottle caked on the mattress. There we go. There we go. Okay. Found at a Chinese buffet. Imagine being the reason they had to put this sign up. Do not lick ice cream scoop. I, 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 I can't imagine because that TikTok trend where everyone was opening crap and licking it and drinking it. I, I can fully understand that. But there's a camera right there. So try that again. And frankly, if you ever participated in licking crap off the store and just walking off with it, you deserve to be hit by a running. You deserve to be hit by something. I can't say it because I probably get demonetized, but you deserve to get hit by something. Not by me, and I don't indulge or promote bullying of any kind, but you know what I mean. If I ever caught a TikToker doing that to my store, <laughs> I carry six rounds all the time. Okay, PSA, don't buy no weed from, I can, well, that's blank, SMH. I work too hard for my money to get ripped the F off once again. Don't buy no weed. Uh... I, I like that. Don't don't smoke. Smoking's bad for you. Take this as a lesson. You're getting cheated either way. Cheated because you can't get any or cheated because your lungs will die and you'll die at age 45 due to uh, lung cancer. Which one would you prefer? That reminds me of that GTA scene where um Franklin and um Trevor and all of them went to the, the grocery and <laughs> he said this is half a drywall. That's what that reminds me of. That's a good way to make money. I should do that. But you don't mess with those addicts. They, they'll kill you. Okay, does this count? 
What's the worst way someone told you I don't love you without saying I don't love you? He had an affair with my mother <laughs> while I was pregnant with our sixth child. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> oh, dang. I found someone's sign at work today. Spare change for crack and ice cream. This is why I am very reluctant when giving to random people on the streets. Because I remember one particular day, I was waiting outside a Home Depot gas station. Well, the gas station near Home Depot. And I was feeling courteous. I was, I was ready. I, I woke up feeling dangerous, you know. I was like, I'm going to do something. And I saw this man on the street had a sign said, oh, help me and my four kids and my dog and whatever. And I was so stupid. And this has cha this entirely changed my aspect on homeless people ever since. I go up to this guy with my last, like, four bucks. I don't know. I hand him the four dollars. It wasn't much. I know I was a kid. But you know what four dollars is like to a kid? You can buy, like, four boxes of Mike and Ike's with that, man. That's a lot. So I gave this guy four bucks, right? Tell me why this man low-key, when I'm in the car waiting, and we, it's been about 30 minutes because my dad was in the store. We come out and we about to get drive off. But before we drive off, I see this man walk into some freaking car. It, I don't know. It was like an SUV better than my car. And my car wasn't that good. And I didn't have a car. It was my dad's car. But you get what I say. It was a good looking car. It was shiny, new. This man walks in laughing, backpack, jiggling crap. Just drives off with somebody. I have not given to no random person on the street ever since. And that was like years ago. Only I only give to people in homeless shelters. Because any... Other than that, they're a bunch of scammers. It's like, you can't trust no one these days. It's also why I carry this all the time. Because you can't, you can't walk anywhere these days. Uh, that's, that's an ad again. I was about to read another ad. Um, she also turned off her comments. Are you ungrateful for... <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I got paid 50 bucks to give someone their food, boy, <laughs> oh wow, uh, I, I would not be doing this, I tell you that. There is a sign right there, warning, I can't read that. Uh, can you read that? Someone tell me what that says in the comments. I can't read that. Warning, that's what I read. It says. The sign right there says warning. I got you. Warning. I guess it says something about dumping because there's some a couch or bed back there. I don't know. I can't read it. What are you good for if you can't see things that far away? Uh, probably need some drywall patch repair as well. I need several doors similar to this. I have an anger problem and need to replace some damaged doors. These are hollow inside and break easily. Anyone know... If there's a place that sells them to the general public in bulk so that I can spend less than going through my apartments. So you like to punch through your door. I remember when my mom lifted me up once and I kicked a hole in the wall. But I don't think I've ever purposely punched a hole in a wall consistently more than once. You should get, you should go take you should ask someone about that uh i had to turn around and take this picture eat more cat than cervical cancer what a girl i know kept going on facebook live flaunting the money she has four days later posts that she was robbed while at a pool party even though someone warned her that's a ultimate karma moment I, I love it when people that gloat and flaunt their money get what they what they deserve. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if someone tackled her to the ground, grabbed the money, and just jumped out the second floor window trying to get away. Yeah, she got what she deserved. Using your toddler to advertise a weed tray. Oh, I didn't even... Oh! They get into it pretty young, don't they, nowadays? Okay. Fellow, uh, wait. Fellow Redditor's most prized piece of memorabilia from Maryland Mansion. What am I looking at? Like, 
What, what is this? What? 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 What is wrong with people? Effing heck! Don't you hate it when they give you an audio option but there's no noise anyway? Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh my God! I hope that wasn't what I thought. Well, I hope that's not what I think it was on the wall, man. No, man. Why? I hate it. It's like those stupid earwax ads you get when you're surfing a random news website. You don't want to see that mess. Give me a warning. God. Ugh. Oh, that's disgusting. Why would you post something like this? Um. Something's supposed to, like... Oh, I like... I like crap, and I still look skinny AF. Uh, what's wrong with fat people, though? Uh, I honestly don't know what to say about this because, honestly, I'm not gonna comment. I'll get canceled before I even get famous. I'm not gonna say anything. That's gonna be something they'll find like 40 years from now when I'm about to freaking make a career choice and they're gonna be like, remember when he said this? And then I get kicked out the building. Okay, land of the free. Land of the free and mighty. When her dad found out she belongs to the streets. That's how I'm gonna treat my kids when they, if they ever, ever try and pull some crap like that. Like, if my kids watch this, like, try me. Do it. I'll smack you harder. I'll hit you with something harder. I will make sure you never do something as stupid as that again. I don't want to see my daughter shaking her butt like that ever again. Heck no. Teach my kids well and good. That's right. That's right. Teach them. You teach them. Perth? I think that's just Perth, Scotland. Perth, Scotland. Yep. Perth, Scotland. And I thought the <laughs> these were... Only seen in the U.S. It must be my child brain. I don't see... What am I looking at? Is it trash in the back of the car? I mean, I don't like a messy car, but I'm assuming you'd see that everywhere. But I don't know. That's something that happens all over the place. But if there's something I'm missing here, put it in the comments. Because honestly, I'm too blind to see what's going on here other than the fact that his car is messy. Why? Woman film removing thong to use as a face mask in a supermarket. Well, you gotta use what you gotta use. Uh, a thong though? I don't know, maybe she likes how it smells. Either way, I'm not gonna question things I don't understand yet. Um, no class, no respect, no decency. I mean, clean rentals. And we just had this one dropped off. The Mountain Dew bottle under the seat was freshly filled with hot piss. Disgusting. That, that's gross. This is trashy in my standards. Ex Domino's worker shows how to bag free food using the wrong order policy. There's nothing quite like bagging some free food, particularly when it's something like mo. That's what it says, mo. But that is a rule in restaurants, um, isn't it? Like if you get the wrong order, then you get to keep the food because I don't think you just want to throw it away. But I that is not new. I've heard, someone has definitely done that before. New Starbucks. Uh Ray and Slack Tour. Well we all see it. It's not oh, oh, it's all of them. I I get how companies make merch. But there's literally some merch I cannot believe some people would actually buy. I mean, they can buy them. Sure, it's probably a comfy shirt. But I would never be caught dead wearing that in public. Like, what what would you see, think if you saw it in public? What would you think of her? Tell me. She belongs to the streets. This is what you'd be thinking. That's exactly what you'd be thinking. Don't even lie to yourself. That's 
That that's not no no. Police pizza delivery driver got tipped with a baggie of coins containing loose tobacco. Well, at least you got something to smoke while you figure out what you got to do with your life. But other than that, sorry, man. People people just people give you what they got, and if that's weed, well, at least you got something to look forward to later this afternoon. If looks could kill. I, uh, if looks could kill, you should start looking at me. I feel like that thing's gonna jump and just claw my eyes out because that, that stings. Yeah, that, that, that's, that stings. Don't know if this counts, but here you go. Context, we were talking on r slash Subnautica about how there are were no guns. So I said this, which is true. And he said the audacity to disrespect everyone who died during the shootings like that. It wasn't a war. It was to pay respect to Sandy Hook Elementary School who shot up close close to production. Um, that's pretty dumb. Re that's a pretty dumb reason. When guns don't work, uh, well, uh, yeah, they don't, but would be perfectly acceptable explanation. Um, I, I, I actually do kind of, what, that is a good question. Why is there not like a type of gun in Subnautica? I mean, for real though, like, come on. When a Reaper comes out of nowhere, I just want, I have the instinct to push R2 or right click. Cause I want to shoot, I left click. Cause I want to shoot that thing as fast as possible, but there's no gun. You got that little flimsy knife. Okay. Like for real. That for science sale ain't got me wondering if he's Biden's pimp. Uh, F, F for sale Biden. Uh, like for real, okay. Politics, am I right? Bet you can't guess where this is. That's a Confederate flag, isn't it? Is that a Confederate? That's a Confederate flag. Well, I don't know where it is. Somewhere down south, but I don't know where it is. People who leave park benches like this. Who leave them dirty? Yeah, they suck. How did you not get caught? Florida man uses four million in COVID relief to buy a Lamborghini. Florida man is arrested on multiple charges, including bank fraud, after using part of nearly four, four, dot, four in PP loans to buy a Lamborghini. And did I say PP instead of PPP? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Frick. I didn't mean to say that. No. Never mind. Just ignore I said. Just forget I said that. I didn't say that. I said PPP loans. If you think otherwise, well, you're wrong. I'm right. It's my channel. I can say what I want. And other high-end luxury items. More. This happened like multiple times. And I must say, it is a brilliant business plan in the way of criminals could conduct business. But at the same time, really, like, you just gotta, you just gotta use all that relief money. Like, it's no different from stealing from a charity. But I guess people are pretty trashy. I so says the the Reddit. But you get it. Saw this trashy car at my local bar. I wish I had taken better photo for all y'all. Yeah, it's trashy. It's trashy. Indeed. Nice photo. Saw this gem while visiting Florida. Your baby's daddy. <laughs> Your baby's daddy do you wrong. Will buy his gold all day long. That, that's that's a nice business motto. You got all those Florida mans causing trouble down there. Pretty sure you got a, lo a lot of lonely women ready to just sell their 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 gold. Yeah, yeah, that's a great business motto. I don't I don't know, man. Okay, this is probably gonna be the last one. First thing I saw on Facebook this evening, gross. Told my boo I need some D. Hello, this is what I got. So he said, well, I need some P. So LOL, this is what you got. Our love, our humor together. Love you, boo. Just 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is some light humor. That's gonna end it today. We ended on a on a on a pretty decent note. I would say that's decent, wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay. This is the R slash trashy Reddit. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.